Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, I would like to introduce uh, multiple frame of reference application, and I would like to simulate a simulation using uh, this multiple frame of reference. Uh, you know, in many engineering fields, um, there are conditions that uh, there is only one single uh, f f there is only one single frame of reference, and uh, like in, for example, rotary applications. Um, the whole blades and whole parts are rotating uh, with just one angular velocity around uh, one axis of rotation but uh, there are conditions that uh, different parts in the rotary machines are diff are rotating around different axis of rotation or they are just uh, rotating with different angular velocities so here in this case you need to use a multiple frame of reference uh, for that reason i have already created a a mesh and the geometry uh, that describes my problem so if I click on uh, set up in ANSYS Fluent and use this 2D option because this is a 2D simulation I, I press OK so I have my mesh and geometry already created so I'll go to import mesh and uh, my mesh is somewhere on the desktop I press uh, desktop fluent tutorial case and here is my case so here you see the geometry that is uh, created this is a blower and the blower actually gets the 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 air from the inlet and blow it through the blades uh, uh, toward the outlet so if I go to display and uh, try to describe the problem so here you have the blades you have several blades and then you have this casing and uh, the inlet is just a circle in the middle taking the air from the the middle of the uh, the blower and uh, <clears throat> it's blowing toward the outlet toward the toward the right of the geometry and uh, if you see there are four interfaces already created in this geometry interface one and interface two which are on top of each other and interface 3 and interface 4 uh, that are also on top of each other and the functions of them is uh, to separate uh, different zones accordingly so actually this interface 1 and 2 are separating this entry zones uh, with respect to the uh, this uh, rotary zone and interface 3 and 4 is actually uh, separating uh, this uh, rotating zone with respect to this casing and the outlet uh, zone conditions um, so you see there are three interiors interior 1 interior 13 and interior 15 so if I go to adjacency so you see that there are already three zones created actually these are names selected when uh, the mesh was created so when I was creating my mesh I just uh, right click on the surface uh, on the special zone and name selected accordingly so I have selected three uh, three zones one is called casing so if I click on casing you see that this default interior is corresponded to fluid casing fluid inlet default interior 13 and fluid rotor default interior 15 so I have uh, three zones with four interfaces so let us do the simulation I'll go to general the solver is pressure based velocity formulation absolute and it's going to be a steady state simulation uh, the model I presume this is a turbulent case so I'll go to viscous uh, actually viscous I'll change it to K epsilon model and uh, standard option with enhanced wall treatment I press OK and uh, the material is uh, default uh, air with default viscosity and default uh, density I'll don't change it here cells and conditions uh, so the fluid casing and the fluid inlet are just uh, constant they with no are just stationary with no rotation but when it comes to fluid rotor which was the one in the middle so I have the frame motion and uh, the freight motion is actually in RPM so I need to go to units change the angular velocity units to rpm and I close it I'll go back to fluid rotor frame motion so this one is actually 
rotating with the uh, around this rotation axis of zero zero which is just in the middle of the inlet circle with the velocity of uh, angular velocity of one minus two thousand five hundred so this is minus because this is rotating clockwise so I press OK regarding these two I will not change anything these are just stationary zones with no uh, rotation that's why we have this multiple frame of reference here actually so one of them is rotating and two others are not rotating when it comes to boundary conditions the blade actually the blades are actually inside this rotating uh, frame of reference so this is no more stationary wall uh, these are moving walls with reference to to this uh, rotating frame and uh, actually these are rotating with zero zero velocity meaning that uh, meaning that they are rotating with the with the zone with the fluid zone itself so I press OK with the casing uh, this is just the wall default interiors I will not change it so the inlet uh, the inlet is set as zero because this is a free uh, this this blower is running at a free condition meaning that it's running at zero inlet velocity is zero outlet the uh, outlet pressure and uh, the running force is uh, these rotors that are uh, rotating with a velocity of minus 2500 rpm so interfaces are already of this type uh, interface because of the name selection the outlet I will not change it this is zero velocity but here in the mesh interfaces uh, I need to create some mesh interfaces because uh, when it comes to the ANSYS fluent uh, calculation of the equations across the interfaces you need to create this uh, interface uh, correctly so I'll go to this manual create I'll call it uh, interior 1 and that is starting from interface 1 to interface 2 and I press create and I have another interface called interface 2 starting from Z3 and ending to 4 and here is my interface 2 and the methods method pressure velocity coupling I would use coupled and turbulent kinetic energy second order turbulent dissipation rate second order as well and uh, monitors residuals let's decrease this one before it converges so quickly I press OK report files or report plots I make a new one and uh, what I would like to do is uh, to make a surface report of volume flow rate at the outlet so I'm reporting the volume flow rate at the outlet every single iteration I press OK I press OK so it will be plotting on the plot number two, plot window number two. I press OK. Then I'll do a quick initialization, hybrid initialization. And uh, I think I'm good to run the simulation now. Number of iteration 115, 50 actually. And then I press calculate. So you can see that uh, on window number two, uh, the volume flow rate of uh, the volume flow rate at the outlet is being plotted, and it's actually converging quite fast. So the solution is done. The simulation is done. Let's look at the solution. We'll go to post processing can take a look at the contour plot of like static pressure uh, I'll choose it filled so here is the static pressure <clears throat> so you see the lower pressure across this blade on the top the higher pressure across the outlet and on the bottom of the inlet this is the average solution so let's look at the contour plot of velocity as well and I press field okay here you see with almost zero 
velocity here around this uh, area and the higher velocity across the top of the blades and uh, the flow is actually initiating from here and going all the way toward the outlet so this is quite interesting if we take a look at the vector plots of velocity perhaps that would be more interesting so if I zoom here you see here how beautiful the vector plot of the velocity look like here as well higher velocity across the top of the blade so this was the tutorial that I, I like to show you how to use this multiple frame of reference I hope you have learned here something and uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial until next goodbye